Guys, it's your girl Deja and I'm back and getting revealed. Today guys, we are reacting to actors who went broke in the dumbest ways. In the stupidest ways. In the dumb fuckery ways. Okay? Like, you could not have spent all that money in one day. Your movie or TV show you was in made $25 million and you spent it in one day? It will at least take me about three weeks. Okay? Three weeks. I'm getting tired of hearing the fucking door. <laughs> Let's get into the video. I'm pissed. I fucking was spending 360 grand a year on wine bottles while Nicolas Cage's bankruptcy included nine Rolls Royces and his own private island. How I'm sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Cars are nice, but why you need nine Rolls Rolls Royces? I can't talk. Why you need nine cars? Are they the same cars? Like the same brand of each car, or like it's like different nine roll roast roast. But there are a few active bankruptcies stranger than Kim Bassinger's, who thought it was smart to pay twenty million dollars for an entire country town. Brussels Georgia had only two shops and. Bitch, is not this is not Twin Peaks. This is not Twin Peaks. What the fuck? This is not Twilight. What the fuck are you doing? Oh no. Local residents, one of which describing the town by stating breading chicken is about the most exciting thing we do around here, which made the Look reason for Kim's purchase is. even more stupid. She planned on turning the town Who? into a Hollywood tourist attraction and building a Kim major Kardashian? film and recording studio with the added bonus of a theme park, homes, and shopping centers at a time when Brasselton's economic conditions were so atrocious. Another local resident stated, if we talk about the economy, everybody gets depressed. Given the real Hollywood was on the other side of the country, it's no surprise that the project failed, forcing Kim to resell the town for $4.3 million, locking in a $15.7 million loss, and the alienation of her entire family who'd also bought into the project. The Dumb stress of the town's failure then caused Kim to pull out of the movie she was starring in, prompting the producers to successfully sue her for $8.9 million, which Kim couldn't pay. You had to declare bankruptcy. You made everything... People stay coming in this damn room. I'm gonna switch my filming location because I every time I hear that door open, I get pissed off. It's somebody in her. Use the other fucking social room. Get your ass out of her. Lost it. Lost everything. Every single thing. But at least Kim Bessinger still had her freedom. Oh my God, as Kim Wesley Snipes' bankruptcy was so brutal, it we also put him in prison. He earned over Who's fifty two? million dollars from a range of different roles. Although, despite purchasing an Aston Martin Vanquish as well as mansions in both Florida and New Jersey, I forgot, I wasn't Wesley right. refused to lodge a single tax return over a seven-year period and was therefore ordered to pay the IRS twenty-three point five million. I'll this video Wesley tried playing, to so wiggle his way it. out of paying by making the strange claim that he was a non-resident alien of the United States despite being born there. He knew he had to pay the taxes. Uh, he was just... Wait, what? I should, I should, like, when someone, when, fuck, when somebody else, like, walk in, I'm gonna need this rolling and this, so they're like, oh, you got a YouTube channel? I'm like, yeah, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Although things got a whole lot weirder when Snipes declared he had no taxable U.S. income, making the IRS Form 1040 absolutely the wrong form for me to file. He also claimed taxes withheld were stolen funds, whilst adding the IRS deceives people to terrorize, enslave, rape, or pillage taxpayers. Although confronting the IRS was a very stupid strategy, as Wesley was immediately charged with six counts of willfully failing to file federal income tax returns, for which he was given a federal 
prison sentence. Wesley Snipes gets three years behind bars. In 2018, five years after being released from prison, Wesley Snipes still hadn't paid a dollar toward his tax bill and would try to settle the $23.5 million debt by instead offering the IRS $842,000, which they understandably rejected. Who Wesley the fuck won't take that shit? Economic hardship, I would. The court said no to that too, instead dropping his tax bill to $9.5 million, which it seems he hasn't paid either. Avoiding a tax bill for 15 years might almost make him a genius. However, when Heidi Montag blew through $10 years, million, dollars, there was zero intelligence anywhere. Reality television was the source of her wealth, appearing in The Hills, Big Brother, and I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Although when these types of shows completely disappeared, Heidi instead began recording music, spending $2 million on her very first album. She'd state, I put every dollar I have into this. I've spent over $1 million, almost $2 million on this album. It's cost as much or more than a Britney Spears album because I wanted it to be that quality. The songs will make an impact in pop history. It sold it only it. a thousand uh, copies. In case didn't. losing $2 million on a worthless album wasn't bad enough, she'd talk about her daily life by stating, every time we'd go out to eat, we'd order $4,000 bottles of wine. Heidi was going to the mall and dropping twenty dollars to $30,000 a day. We thought we were Jay-Z and Beyonce. Heidi's outrage was be known, justified because we heard that the planet was going to end in 2012. We thought we have to spend this money before the asteroid hits, although the peak of her stupidity was still yet to come. With the money running low, Heidi faked a divorce with her husband, who explained the split was designed to create fresh interest in his wife for a potential British TV project. Divorcing was the only way to keep Heidi's career going, although this failed to do anything. Heidi Montag had to lose every penny before finally learning her lesson. We live two in the moment. People say live in the moment. Well, we did. You know, we didn't really think about our futures. All of which could have easily been learned by researching Nicolas Cage. National Treasure had brought his net worth to $150 million, prompting him to spend $25 million on a waterfront primary residence, although Nick Sorry, also felt the need to buy a holiday home. He'd therefore spend a further $15 million on a Rhode Island countryside mansion, also picking up an $8.5 million apartment for his weekends away in Las Vegas. But what about his weekends in the Bahamas? Well, for that, he dropped $3 million on his own private island, but this didn't do anything for his trips to Europe, for which he'd spend a further $12.3 million on two medieval castles, where he'd spend huge sums on enormous Gatsby-style parties. By 2007, Nicolas Cage had bought 15 different houses, where he'd keep his 26 different vehicles, including four yachts, nine Rolls Royces, and a nearly $3 million vintage Bugatti. Although this wasn't as old as his $276,000 dinosaur skull, kept next to a bookshelf holding a $150,000 Superman comic. Throughout the houses lived a $150,000 pet octopus, an $80,000 two-headed snake, and a pair of albino king cobras that set him back a hundred. Listen, okay, rich people just be buying the dumbest shit. This nigga spent all this money for fucking snakes. You can find that shit in the south. <laughs> Bitch, just try. What the fuck? Okay, just travel. Just travel to your local forest and, and look closely down. And I'm sure you'll find all them snakes you just bought. Or some that's even bit different. You dumb bitch. Grand. <gasps> to add a cherry on top of the cake, Nick purchased his own extravagant gravesite for a price of 40000 Finally Nigga, concluding just get his crazy it, it spree just months before the global financial I'm crisis. The real estate market crashed and I couldn't get out in time. Uh -huh. Around the same time, he began receiving fewer high-paying roles and with six different loans on his Bel Air mansion plus mortgages on every other property, Nicolas Cage was headed toward bankruptcy. By I know you sell that snakes the same price you bought them or a little, high, a little bit higher. Sell them cars for a lot of money and um, sell that house. I mean, hey, the cars and the sell the yachts. Unless you want to live in a boat, but that's not really cute. Unless the boat has a shower, and it's like, okay, I could do that. But I will sell the car, the snakes, and the yachts. And the stupid dinosaur and, and, the, and keep the comic books.
who the fuck want a dinosaur head? Bitch, they're been dead. He owed a further 6.2 million in unpaid taxes, forcing him to sell almost everything, most of which at a loss. His $15 million Rhode Island mansion resold for $9.5 million, while his $276,000... Wait, 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 I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Forcing him to sell almost everything, most yeah. of which at a loss. His $15 million Rhode Island mansion resold for $9.5 million, while his $276,000 dinosaur skull was taken by the government after they discovered it was originally stolen. When oh. the Nickelodeon government said that they needed it back, I gave it to them, but I never got my money back. Nick launched a $20 million lawsuit against his former manager, stating, Cage discovered that he is now forced to sell major assets and investments at a significant loss and is faced with huge tax liabilities, although his manager clapped back by claiming he advised Cage against buying a Gulfstream jet, against buying and owning a flotilla of yachts, against buying and owning a squadron of Rolls Royces, and against buying millions of dollars in jewelry and art. The lawsuit was eventually dismissed as Bad ridiculous, people. forcing Nick to take on low-quality acting roles purely to avoid bankruptcy. It may not have been blue chip, but it was still work. Bro, I swear Just to God. Where's the video? Fuck. I swear to God. Y'all. People stay coming in here. Oh. Shit. Funny. Where's the video? I just exit out. Oh, here it goes. The sergeant received a call from his deputy. I'm sorry, guys. That's all the videos I got planned. I'm going to leave this social mouse after this video because people stay coming. No one's caring anymore about their oh flexible my God, lifestyle. What? We're kind of all looking at them sideways the more they flex. Yeah, all right. After this video, we going to switch locations because people stay, you know, you know. Go when away. asked how much has money driven your work choices, Nick stated there are times when it's more of a factor than not. Before adding, I had this pride thing where I wanted to work my way through anything, which Nick see has how I keep giving. done quite successfully, uh, unlike Randy Quaid, who gave up Hollywood to chase conspiracy, bankruptcy, and all-round insanity. Uh, bye. By appearing in Independence Day, Brokeback Mountain, and every National Lampoon movie, Randy Quaid became a multi-millionaire. I've earned approximately forty million dollars throughout my career. Who get ready to go? Because these bitches are nominated for an Oscar. Randy's career came to a screeching halt. The fucking door. Bitch clothing. Two thousand nine. Why? Well, it well, began here. after he and his wife <laughs> were arrested for two years of I didn't record. To pay a ten thousand dollar hotel bill, after which both refused to appear in court. After the case eventually settled, Randy and his wife were once again arrested. This time for squatting inside a vacant house they'd previously owned. However, things only got weirder from here. Randy and his wife began to claim they were being chased by a group called Star Whackers who were trying to kill Hollywood celebrities. How many people do you know personally who have died suddenly and mysteriously? In the past five years while also claiming the group was somehow controlling their finances if things keep going the way they are yeah. and we don't do something about it to expose these people yeah. my wife and i will be out on the street and we will okay. we will be we'll have nothing to eat okay that's how bad it is as a solution randy fled to canada where he began to upload his conspiracies to youtube <laughs> After which he was arrested for a third time whilst trying to sneak back into America. The Oscar nominated actor and his wife in jail this morning after being arrested at the Canadian border in Vermont. Exactly where Randy's 40 million went isn't entirely clear. However, Kelly Rutherford has been extremely open about how she spent her fortune on lawyers. After gaining international stardom for appearing in Gossip Girl, Kelly had two kids with a German man who wasn't a US citizen. The couple divorced in 2009 and began to argue about custody, with a judge ruling the kid should live with their father in Europe, as he wasn't permitted to return to America. Because he can't come into the U.S., the children have to be in now France. Yes. The situation was so strange and unique, Kelly spent every penny she had trying to regain custody. It's cost you, what, about two and a half million dollars? It's cost me everything I've ever made, my everything. And as a result, she filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy midway through the court case, having assets worth only 24000 compared to liabilities totaling $2 million. On top of this, Kelly owed more than 350000 in back taxes, 25000 in Amex charges, and had a monthly income of just under $1,300 
Steelers. Although despite spending everything she'd ever earned, her efforts failed to impact the court's final choice. Gossip Girl star Kelly Rutherford stunned and fighting back tears after losing a bitter custody battle today in New York Supreme Court. Kelly's spending was out of complete necessity, whereas Johnny Depp spending $650 million was nothing but complete stupidity. Ooh, in 2012, he was listed as the world's highest paid actor by the Guinness Book of Records, although despite earning $900 million over a 13-year period, he spent the money so poorly, Conan O'Brien joked, that he must have gotten financial advice from Nicolas Cage. Similar to Cage, Depp purchased 14 different properties, including his own Bahamian private island, multiple countryside mansions, and a $60 million village in France, although it was Johnny Depp's day-to-day -day expenses that might have been even crazier. A 2017 lawsuit revealed he was burning $2 million a month on $200,000 for a private jet, $150,000 on security for himself and his family, $300,000 on staff, including 40 full-time employees, I know I and your on coming one, here. which was confirmed during his trial with Amber Heard. However, Johnny Depp's craziest purchase was when he spent $3 Damn, million on good. his friend Hunter <laughs> S. Thompson's funeral by firing his ashes out of a rocket-like cannon. Just like Nicolas Cage, Johnny Depp tried to sue his management company, <laughs> TMG, although oh, they responded with their own lawsuit me? stating, Depp chose time and again to ignore TMG and all of his other advisors. Depp truly has no one but himself to blame for his current financial and personal circumstances. Oh. Fuck. Well, oh. Okay, yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh huh. Alright, y'all. This is the end of the video. Um, people stay coming in here. You know, and police will shut the fuck up. And, you know, I'm annoyed. I'm gone, y'all. Bye. I, I ain't at the end of the end. Yep. Bye.